this idea for this reading came to me from the comment section so I would like to encourage you that if you have an idea or a topic for a reading that you would like to see me perform on this channel then please let me know in the comments because I often find inspiration uh, in the comment section of my videos um, at this point if you're a subscriber I would like uh, to ask you to turn on the notification bell which is next to the subscribe button and if you would like to subscribe then I recommend that you do the same after subscribing it has come to my attention that this notification bell thingy uh, is a way for my subscribers to get notified about all my uploads otherwise there's a chance that you will not see each and every video that I upload so if you like my videos then please uh, click on that little bell icon so let's jump right into it creating healthy boundaries and standing our ground can be extremely difficult especially for people who are um, artistic, introverted, gentle people who in general enjoy ASMR videos I think I don't have uh, any knowledge of any scientific studies that have been done on the personality uh, traits of people who enjoy ASMR videos but I'm pretty sure it's just common sense to think that it's a predominantly introverted uh, crowd of people people who are um, more vi wired uh, in the direction of um, introspection of, uh, of psychology, of uh, contemplation, of meditation and uh, people who are gentle souls like that can find it kind of difficult to um, create boundaries when that's necessary so I would like to ask the cards for guidance on this subject what can we do to um, to deal with this problem in a healthy way what can we do to make sure that people are not using us are not taking advantage of us are not abusing us because I think it's just very important to have the tools and the skills to defend ourselves to protect ourselves when necessary and I'm wondering if the tarot can give us some guidance on how to do that and I'm using my new fountain tarot deck which I've been enjoying a lot okay so let's see and the card that came out is called the Hierophant and I have just recently realized that I have been mispronouncing the name of this card for some reason all this time so I apologize about that but let me tell you 
about the message of this card. It's a major arcana card, and what that means is uh, that this topic, this subject of defending ourselves goes deeper and it's more important and more aligned with our spiritual development than we would think uh, at first glance. So, the idea with the Hierophant is that uh, life is basically a playground, but it's also kind of like a school. And the way to move forward is not only to recognize that we are being challenged and that we are being taught, but also to try and take the lessons that life is giving us and to really, really learn from them. So, whenever, at any point in your life, you are confronted with a person who's not respecting your boundaries, a person who's trying to take advantage of you, a person who is rude, perhaps aggressive, and is not um, concerned with hurting you or causing you trouble, you need to take that as a lesson from the universe. The reason for that person entering your life and causing all these problems for you is that life is testing you. You're being tested, uh, you're being trained, and um, Basically, um, this is a, a, a teachable moment each time it happens. It's your reaction and your way of dealing with the situation that creates value from something that would otherwise be just a random occurrence. So, whenever you're confronted with someone like this, someone who is problematic and is not respectful of your, uh, of your personal boundaries, you need to think really carefully and really seriously about what you're going to do about it. Don't take it lightly. Even if it's uh, just, for example, I'm giving you an example, but obviously it could be many things. But for example, you are kind enough to lend some money to one of your fa uh, friends. Not a lot of money, just perhaps five dollars, because they need a ticket home or something like that and they promise you that they will pay you back but they never do it and you might be inclined to just let it go and forget about it um, but the thing is, it's not about the five dollars it's not about the money this is a teachable moment for you and for the other person as well because they need to learn that the universe is not tolerating um, a lack of reciprocity 
and you as a part of the universe, as a part of um, humanity, you are teaching this person that there are consequences to their actions. And you're also being taught or you're teaching yourself how to stand up for yourself, how to confront someone about something awkward. You don't need to be um, uh, mean about it. You don't need to be uh, extremely defensive right off the bat or uh, in any way disrespectful but do it in a way that is confident and um, is clear so communicate your uh, point of view your standpoint in a clear way and um, the, the Hierophant is also asking you to accept that, uh, that you being the teacher and the student at the same time in this situ situation requires you to um, really think deeply about the moral implications of your actions. So what you do really matters, and it matters each and every time, no matter what we're talking about, no matter if it's uh, five dollars or someone stepping on your shoes um, on the bus, it really doesn't matter what the context is. Each time you need to weigh um, the significance, obviously, of the of the occurrence, but also you need to take action each and every time, some kind of action. And the quality and uh, intention behind your action is going to create an important point of reference for others who are interacting with you, for humanity in general, and also for your own self. So if you see yourself behaving in a very kind of sheepish way, where you just let everybody uh, to invade your personal space and to take advantage of you in many ways, then that's what you're teaching yourself. You're teaching yourself that you are like that. And it becomes more and more acceptable in your mind. However, if you change this behavior and you start uh, treating these situations with uh, more uh, care and more seriousness, you're going to be teaching something different to yourself about yourself. And that is the significance and the real meaning of standing up for yourself. So it's not just about avoiding something painful and uh, uh, protecting yourself. It's not just about that. It's also about teaching others and yourself about the nature of the universe and the nature of society. I hope that you found this guidance from the tarot useful and thank you for watching.